We are team 12302, G-P Robotics Synergy, and this is our Control Award submission video. For Autonomous, we went with a few basic concepts going into this. Reliability, maneuverability, and flexibility. Another concept we had was self-improvement. We wanted to challenge ourselves with new concepts and experiment constantly with creating our own algorithms as to truly learn more about this field of study. For reliability, we used a multitude of sensors to enable the robot to complete a path successfully each time. These four distance sensors detect what stack of rings has been set down as this has been deemed more reliable and faster in its prediction than TensorFlow. The Inertial Measurement Unit, or IMU, allows rotation tracking for precise rotation alignment. This color sensor allows the encoder position to be reset on the white tape, and these encoders allow precise field positions with no slippage on the field. For maneuverability, we were able to put together an algorithm that allows the robot to move along a coordinated path in a curve formation called splines. Our logic for this simply tells the robot to move to a point about 10 inches ahead on the path. When we get to a point we need to stop at, the robot will slow down and head straight for that point. Then it'll activate whatever list of instructions needed to complete like shoot the rings. Using these algorithms allow us to easily plug in a bunch of numbers into a coordinate system with the robot making a smooth transition between each point reducing the room for error. The flexibility system we have set up we originally saw in FTC Team 2818 G-Forces video and was the perfect solution for combining all our autonomous into one. Using a controller we are able to customize the autonomous during initialization with initial time delay, starting position, list of actions to complete, whether to shoot for the top goal or power shots, as well as whether to skip the zero ring wobble goal position if the robots may collide. This system works seamlessly with our spline program to be able to easily and quickly create any autonomous program we may need in consideration to our teammates at the time. For drivers, we set up a system that allows multiple functions while being easy to understand during an intense competition, as well as the ability to be able to complete our actions as quickly as possible. Controller 1 controls the movement and wobble goal arm which uses its encoders for set positions. Meanwhile, Controller 2 controls the intake and shooter. The shooter has multiple algorithms surrounding it being a vital point to this game. A very important aspect we knew would give us an important edge is being able to shoot from anywhere on the field. The first thing is to get the robot's position on the field again using encoders and the IMU, which then is put through an equation we worked out to find the velocity we need to shoot at. As a part of this, the robot will also autonomously align itself rotationally towards the goal. And that is a quick overview of all the features our robot has to offer through the programming we have integrated into this piece of machinery. If you wish to know or learn more about a certain aspect of the programming, be sure to reach out to us on our YouTube channel, G-P Robotics.